So we're going to be jumping into module four at this particular time. Um, we've gotten a little feet wet with working with the if then else structure. Uh, now we're going to be taking it further with a little bit more advanced if then else structure and case case controlled structure. Um, I ask you to take your time to complete an overview of the um, objectives. Uh, take a peek at the, the notes and the assignments. And most certainly, uh, there's a quiz loaded at the end of this module that I'm asking you guys to work through. Uh, to give you a little uh, the taste of this real quick, I'm going to load up a, a simple Word document and just to review some of the concepts that we are going to be getting into. All right. So I have up here, make two tests in a null statement. So <clears throat> what we're finding here now, uh, with the line that says if grade is equal to greater than 11, right? And then we're using a logic operator that says and uh, age is greater than uh, 16. So, so we have uh, grade and age, right? We're, we're making two tests on two different things. So two different things has to be true to be able to go down into the true path. So this would really be the true path. And it says you're able to take advanced PE, All right? Now notice that this is a null. This is a null statement because there is no false path. So if this is not true, it'll then basically jump right to the end diff and exit the program or exit this structure out. So what we have here is two tests, one test being tested on grade and the other test being tested on age all nested in the same if line, okay? So now we'll take it a little step further and look at a scenario where there could be three tests in an if statement. Well, that's an or. That brings on another logic operator, which is or. So taking the same format, if grade is greater or equal to 11 and age is equal to, or let's say greater than 16, uh, then we have or, age is 17, okay? So uh, long story short, grade can either be 16 or 17, right? Then that's a test that you are able to take the advanced P. If that's not the case, this is not a null, but it then gives you a false path. The true path would be you are able to take advanced P. The false path would be then you're not qualified, okay? Just a basic true true and false path given it. Now taking a step further, taking three tests with the nested if statement. So utilizing the same thing, if grade is equal to 11, age is equal to 16, age is equal to 17, the same philosophy here that you are able to take uh, advanced PE, but look at here, else brings on another if statement. If grade is equal to nine and grade is, um, and grade is equal to 10, then you need to take a PE one or two, right? So a simple structure that, it, it, that forces you to have two if statements. These are the examples of um, the advanced if, if and else structure that we're going to be getting into uh, through, this, um, through this module. Uh, module number four. So if I bump up myself now back over to the web resource page and I scroll down, uh, you can see the example problems. I see example problem eight, nine, and 10 that we're going to be getting into. And then you see a pretest. So for, for, for before we go into working with um, any of these example problems at this time, I'm asking you to then jump in and in, in complete the pretest as you normally have. 